Hi everyone! Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to import uh, 3D objects into LDD. First of all, I would like to give a shout out to Stefan and Polymaker from Eurobricks Forums for their uh, tutorials, programs and assistance with creating of this video. Okay, now before we start, we need LEGO Digital Designer version 4.3.11. This is the version you should use. Uh, you can download it on the internet, there are plenty of sites you can uh, download it for free. Remember to use 4.3.1 if you're gonna use, if you're gonna download it from LEGO Digital uh, Designer from official website, they're gonna offer you a version 4.3.12 which is not the correct version. So you need the 4.3.1. One. So 4.3.11, that's the most important thing. Okay, now the next thing you're gonna do, uh, the link is of course provided in the description, is you're gonna go to the Aerobricks forums and here you will find a tutorial. Uh, so you can download a leaf extractor. So basically this tutorial, uh, this uh, instructions here will tell you how you can uh, prepare your Lego Digital Designer so it can accept new parts and custom parts of course and then you could download the packs with the new parts so as you can see there are a lot of new parts so here is the just a small taste of the new parts available in lego digital designer and like i said you can find parts and instructions here on eurobricks forums in the lego digital designer and other tools uh, uh, sub forums okay now what I do want to show you today is how you can actually import a more complicated 3D models into the LDD so you can use them as a reference. So for example I chose this model. Okay so first thing we're gonna need is the LDD model by Polymaker. The link is of course in the description so you need to download this program. Uh, next program we're gonna need is Blender uh, which we'll use to convert and scale the 3D model we want to import into LEGO Digital Designer. So first we're gonna download all 3D model we want to import into LEGO Digital Designer. So I'm downloading this model from Thingiverse, but of course any other source is good. So this is the file we downloaded and we'll have to change it to an object file so that uh, we can import it into LEGO Digital Designer uh, via Brick Studio. Okay, so now that we downloaded and checked the Kuntach file, we open Blender and first thing first, we're gonna delete all the things from the scene because we don't need it. Now we will go to File and Import STL file. So now we choose our STL file of the Lamborghini Kuntach and we import it. So now we got our uh, Kuntach into the blender and now we have to scale it according to the scale we want to build the real model on now uh, for this example i'm gonna scale it to 1.128 uh, just like the real uh, lego supercars now to scale it we press we press the letter n and here we see the dimensions as you can see this car is way bigger than the real car so we're gonna first correct the, its dimensions by simply checking uh, Wikipedia uh, what is the correct length of the car. So if we check Wikipedia and we can see the the car is 4.14 meters long. Okay, so here I have the dimensions of the real car and the dimensions of the Blender model. As you can see the Blender model is almost four times too big so we need to scale it to match. So real scale divided by the Blender scale and we get 0.25437 okay so we get this number uh, we need to remove the comma and use the dot so we copy this number and we go to blender and we simply scale the model in all three dimensions so now that the car has been shrunk so it's the correct length 4.14 and we check the wikipedia again 4.14 so now that we scale the car so it matches the real one we are ready to export this model we just go to file 
export and we select up wavefront option okay so now i chose my output folder and i'm just gonna name the file contouch128 now important thing here scale if you're doing 1 to 8 we need to put the scale 12.5 because 1 divided by 8 is 12.5 so this is the scale we are using so now we export the file and this is the file we exported as you can see this is the exported object correctly scaled to be imported into lego digital designer uh, so now that we have our correctly scaled object we open ldd brick studio here we go a new part project and we go edit import 3d model and we select our object file we created in blender and now that we selected our object file we click the import and we have our imported model now that we imported the object file to the brick studio we need to come up with a part id so i came up with 111111 remember this number has to be unique and double check in lego digital designer that such a part does not exist otherwise it's gonna be overridden so now that we chose our id we also need to give it a description in this case it's gonna be untouch and i'm gonna select as technic platform under bar functions and this is where the model will be shown now we need to calculate the boundings and then we simply press generate file okay and now we restart lego digital designer and if we did it correctly the model should be available in lego digital designer so now i'm just gonna check uh, if the scale is correct so i'm using the normal tires for uh, supercars and as you can see they are like they are a perfect match and you can now start building the model uh, so as you can see i already imported some uh, other models in different scales so the chiron and contouch are 1 to 8 while the akura nsx and the cybertruck are in 1 to 10 scale so for everyone who likes to build scale models i think this is the perfect tool uh, everything is in one program you don't need any more reference photos no more pictures no more calculating everything is here and you just simply have to follow the shapes while you're building it so i really hope uh, you guys like this tutorial i know that for me this opened up a lot of opportunities and i think i'm gonna be making way more scale models now that i have this option who knows maybe i'm gonna start with kuntach we'll see anyway uh, thank you very much for watching i wish you have a great day and please subscribe for more videos goodbye